Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the Bed Bugs Bible Gang Gang Ding diddle ding 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 Hey Buzzer, I heard that today we're going to have a party That is right Sparky We're going to have a party to celebrate a very special day I knew it Buzzer You're planning a party for my three and three quarter birthday this party isn't for your birthday. This is a party for Pentecost. Pentecost is the day that Jesus sent us a very special gift. Now you're talking, Buzzer. Let's get to the presents. Let's get to the first story instead, Sparky. It's called The Pentecost Party. When Jesus rose up into heaven, Peter felt alone. So Peter went to see if any friends of his were home. Why does Peter look so sad? He misses his friend, Jesus. He met some friends who said that they were very lonely too. Without their good friend, Jesus, they did not know what to do. Hey, where's the party? No one seems to be in the mood. Right then, they heard a noisy sound, just like a rushing wind. Eek, where is all this wind coming from? It blew so hard that Peter thought the walls would blow right in. This party blows me away! He looked around the room and thought, there must be some mistake. Some little flames were on his friends, like candles on a cake. Oh, the birthday party! I don't think so. But Peter was not frightened of the fire or wind that blew. He's not? He just reached up and touched his head. A flame is on me, too. Careful, Peter. It looks hot. What's going on here? Then Peter thought, this flame and wind must be the Holy Spirit, a gift that Jesus sent for us. Now everyone should hear it. Jesus sent Peter a present. What is it? It's the Holy Spirit. So Peter cheered, Let's run right out and party on the street and shout out Jesus loves you to each person that we meet. This really is a party. Let's go. Now Peter is not lonely. He wants everyone to know the spirit fills you up with love. It makes you want to glow. Hey, I am glowing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What did you think of the Pentecost party? I loved it, Buzzer. And the gift we get at Pentecost is even better than the presents we get at a birthday party. Jesus gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's sing a song about God's great Pentecost present. Down in the city, early in the morning, all of the disciples standing in a row. Peter was with them saying prayers to Jesus. Puff, puff, toot, toot, hear wind blow. All through the household early in the morning, mighty wind was roaring, blowing to and fro. Peter was scared and so were the disciples. Puff, puff, toot, toot, hear wind blow. Up on their foreheads early in the morning Little flames were forming all in a row They knew that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit Puff, puff, toot, toot, watch them glow All through the city early in the morning All of the disciples marching in a row 
They told the crowd that Jesus really loves them. Puff, puff, toot, toot, watch them glow. Everybody sing along. Down in the city, early in the morning, all of the disciples standing in a row. Peter was with them saying prayers to Jesus. Puff, puff, toot, toot, hear wind blow. the household early in the morning mighty wind was roaring blowing to and fro peter was scared and so were the disciples puff puff toot toot hear wind blow up on their foreheads early in the morning little flames were forming all in a row they knew that jesus sent the holy spirit puff puff toot toot Watch them glow. All through the city, early in the morning, all of the disciples marching in a row. They told the crowd that Jesus really loves them. Pop, pop, toot, toot, watch them glow. <laughs> Good job. Good job, everybody. That song sounded just swell. We blew the roof right off the place. Sparky, we don't have a roof. We've never had a roof. <laughs> well, that explains a lot, Buzzer. I've been meaning to say something about the draft in here. Let's just play the Pentecost party game. Okay, Buzzer. Don't blow your top. <laughs> Good one, Sparky. Which of these pictures from the Pentecost party is different from all the others? We can start with this picture of Peter. Which one is different? That's right! This picture of Peter is all jumbled up. How about this shot of the lonely disciples? Which picture doesn't match? You got it! These disciples are dressed to party. How about this picture of a funny flame? Which flame is different from all the others? Right again! That flame is purple. That was a silly one. Let's try again. Can you find the picture of the whirling wind that does not look the same? Great job! This wisp of wind is whirling the wrong way. Just one more to go. Which of these spirit-filled people is different from all the others? That's right! She's really glowing with the spirit. You found all of the pictures. Way to go! I hope you're having fun learning about the Holy Spirit. Maybe you would like to know all of the wonderful presents that the Holy Spirit has for you. These are nine special gifts that are called the Fruits of the Spirit. Let's have our friend Fred the Fruit Fly explain. He's an expert on fruits. That sounds like a scrumptious idea, Buzzer. Young Freddy Fruit Fly likes to chew on apples, grapes, and cherries, too. He'll gladly share a fruit with you. That's just what fruit flies like to do. Fruit is fun. You said a mouthful. He likes to lick on lemons, limes, and blueberries and melon rinds. What's wrong? I licked a lemon. He'll eat a kumquat, pear, and peach, or any kiwi that's in reach. I like all those things, too. But Freddy knows of better fruit that's filling, fun, and free to boot. Of all the fruits that he has gnawed, his favorite nine are these from God. What's your favorite fruit, horsefly? I like strawberries. The first two fruits says Fred with glee, are patience and humility. Try the patience, it's great. I can hardly wait. If you like those, then fill your bowl with kindness, peace, and self-control. More self-control? No thanks, I'm stuffed. When you try faithfulness and joy, you'll want to shout out, boy, oh boy. Have you ever seen fruit like this? and take an extra helping of both generosity and love. These fruits are fun to share. Pass the generosity, please. 
Now, Freddie wants you all to know that these nine fruits are fun to grow. I'd love to grow these fruits. It's easy. How do you do it? The Holy Spirit plants them, too. They grow and bloom inside of you. These fruits are inside of us. God puts them there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow, Buzzer. Those fruits really are special. They make me feel like I'm a banana. <laughs> Why do they make you feel like a banana, Sparky? <laughs> because they're so appealing. Get it, Buzzer? <laughs> yep. Can you match up the fancy fruits from Freddy the Fruit Fly's story? We'll help you. Let's start with this purple plum right here. Can you find its match? We got it! The other plum is right over here. Now, find a match for this lemony lemon. Right on! That sour lemon has a bright yellow match. Now, help us find the match for this lovely heart-shaped fruit. You did it again! Good job! How about a match for this bountiful bowl full of fruit? That's correct! Just one more match left. Here's a picture of good old Freddy the Fruit Fly. Can you find a match for him? There he is! You found them all! Great job! And always remember that the Holy Spirit loves you, too! Good job, gang! You pick the right fruit every time. Now, let's hear another fun song from our favorite group, the Bedbug Bandoliers. Do -do -do. And now I'm proud to present the Bedbug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, the Bedbug Dibber Do. There's a bed bug we know who came here from Bordeaux, and his name is Pierre of Perry. There's no gnat or no mite in the city of lights who is half as courageous as he. Every mademoiselle says he's handsome as well, and in bug terms I think you'd agree. So let's all sing along with our favorite song as we meet dear Pierre of Perry. I am Pierre of Perry. He is from Paris. And I'm as brave as can be. He is quite courageous. There is no bug quite like me. There's no one like him in all Perry. <laughs> When Pierre was a lad, both his mom and his dad knew their son would be famous someday. We do not like to boast, but we think he's the most. And what else would a proud parent say? Young hearts fill with l'amour when he calls out bonjour on a stroll on the shop. Is he special? Wee oui, wee! Oui. You just meet him, you'll see, from his tiptoes up to his beret. I am Pierre of Perry. Yes, yes, we know it. And I'm as loved as can be. That's what you told us. There is no bug quite like me. We get the picture in all Perry. <laughs> Now, perhaps you can tell that Pierre is quite swell. There's not much about him to improve. He's got class, he's got style, and a beautiful smile. There's a picture of him in the Louvre. All the gargoyles and guys think Pierre takes the prize. And in fact, he has won quite a few. So let's sing it once more like we've sung it before. Dear Pierre thinks it's grand when we do. I am Pierre of Perry. I think you said that. And I'm as swamp as can be. You must be joking. There is no bug quite like me. That's not surprising. In all Perry. <laughs> Now just what you may ask was the deed or the task which brought this certain bedbug such fame. Some say he has the power to leap up Eiffel Tower, and some say he built Notre Dame. 
And I've heard more than once He invented croissants But that's just a ridiculous claim It's not any of those What it was, no one knows But we all think he's great just the same I am Pierre of Perry No, not a can And I'm as great as can be We just can't take it There is no bug quite like me I hope he's right In all Perry Now Pierre's got to go But don't cry, no, no, no That is not what he'd want you to do it's much better, you see, just to say, c'est la vie, and to thank him with merci beaucoup. If you're good, très bien, you might meet him again. It would be grand for Pierre to meet you. So let's all say goodbye to our favorite guy. Au revoir, dear Pierre. Tout à I am Pierre a Perry. He just keeps going, and I'm as swell as can be. That's it, we're leaving. There is no bug quite like me. The end. In all Perry. Goodbye. I am Pierre a Perry. Hey, hey, where, where did everybody go? Oh, au revoir. Thank you, Bedbug Bandoliers, for that beautiful ballad. Hold on, Buzzer. Sparky, we're in the middle of a show. Please, Buzzer, just hold on. I'm sorry, Sparky, but I just don't have time to hold on. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. Whoa! Well, I told him to hold on, and now the Bedbug Bible Gang is happy to bring you Philip Gets a Ride. Philip heard an angel call. Philip wasn't scared at all. I'm not scared of angels. Me neither. Philip heard the angel say, walk the desert road today. Whatever you say, Mr. Angel. Philip walked along the street. He was thirsty from the heat. It is hot out here. Well, this is the desert road. Soon a wagon rolled on past. Philip had a ride at last. Boy, am I happy to see you. Philip met a brand new friend, this rich Ethiopian. I've never met an Ethiopian before. And he's never met a talking bug before. Philip rode along the way with the friend he met that day. Ah, uh, this is the life. Philip's friend had read a book. Philip asked to take a look. That's one weird looking book. It's called a scroll. Philip gave a happy nod. This book was the word of God. He's reading the Bible. Oh, goody. Philip told his brand new friend, Jesus died and rose again. Philip loves Jesus. So do I. Philip's friend said, I believe. Could you now baptize me, please? Philip's friend loves Jesus, too. Philip stopped along the path. Philip gave that man a bath. What's Philip doing? Just listen. You'll find out. He baptized his friend that day. Jesus washed his sins away. Philip baptized his new friend. That man's sins are washed away. That's cool. I hope you liked our story. The bedbugs love to share the wonderful news that Jesus, forgiveness, is everyone. And Jesus wants us to spread that good news, just like Philip did. I love to spread the word that Jesus loves us. That's great, Sparky. And I especially like to spread peanut butter and jelly all over my toast. That's great too, Sparky. <laughs> Let's all sing a song about Philip and his new friend. We'll help you learn it. It'll be a blast. Philip was walking down the street, down the street, down the street. Philip was walking down the street early in the morning. Soon a stranger he did meet, he did meet, he did meet. Soon a stranger he did meet early in the morning. Philip was glad to ride that day, ride.
ride that day, ride that day. Philip was glad to ride that day early in the morning. He heard the stranger read and pray, read and pray, read and pray. He heard a stranger read and pray early in the morning. Philip told him what Jesus means, Jesus means, Jesus means. Philip told him what Jesus means early in the morning. This is the way he washed him clean, washed him clean, washed him clean. This is the way he washed him clean early in the morning. Everybody sing along. Philip was walking down the street, down the street, down the street. Philip was walking down the street early in the morning. Soon a stranger he did meet, he did meet, he did meet. Soon a stranger he did meet early in the morning. Philip was glad to ride that day, ride that day, ride that day. Philip was glad to ride that day early in the morning. He heard the stranger read and pray, read and pray, read and pray. He heard a stranger read and pray early in the morning. Philip told him what Jesus means, Jesus means, Jesus means. Philip told him what Jesus means early in the morning. This is the way he washed him clean, washed him clean, washed him clean. This is the way he washed him clean early in the morning. <laughs> Good job! You did a great job! I love to sing in the bathtub. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Can you find our bedbug friends hiding in these pictures from the Philip story? We'll start with this picture of Philip and the angel. Where is our bug friend hiding? There she is, by that angel's feet. Now look at this picture of Philip walking along the road. Can you find the hidden bug? <laughs> That's right. That bug is hiding by a rock in the road. How about this picture? Can you find the hidden bug in this picture of Philip's new friend? You found it again! That bug is hiding in the horse's hair. Let's try another. Find the bug that is hiding in this picture of the pretty pool. You got it! Just one more to go. Look for a hidden bug in this picture of two new friends. You saw the sneaky bug hiding in Philip's hat. You found them all. Way to go. That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the bed bugs and we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. Like the song we sang, you're in the Bed Bug Bible Gang Gang Ding diddle ding 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 ding